Hi guys, I'm Lady Yoga and this is Yoga Quickies, the show where you tell us what you want out of your yoga or fitness routine and we deliver it to you in five minutes or less and sometimes six minutes. I'm here with my friend Marsha Miller who is the founder and creator of Yoga on High in Columbus, Ohio. Thank you so much for being oh. with me today. I'm, it's like an honor. Our pleasure. It's not, an, it's not like an honor, it is a real honor. This girl has been teaching yoga for 40 years. She's incredible. And actually, I've never been to Columbus, Ohio before, and it's a really jazzy city. It's really, really cool. We also have, happen to have really good weather. Um, but part of the Yoga Quickies yeah. vibe is being able to make yoga and fitness accessible to people that maybe don't have time to go to the yoga mat or have never done yoga or anything fitness related before. So it's been a real pleasure to be able to hit these awesome cities and talk to these people across the country and really get some good yeah. tidbits to bring into your every day and you started this studio back in 2001 with your friend yes. Martha Markham and also Linda Oceans and Linda Oceans yes. too yes I was reading about her too um, so what was your sort of intention behind creating this studio here in Columbus and what's the vibe like in Columbus for yoga we all were three dear friends mm -hmm. and we were all teaching in other parts of the city and it just needed to happen in one space we needed a place with props I, I like to teach very prop intensive yoga. Yeah. We needed a space to do teacher training. We needed a space to, to teach Reiki, which was also one of the reasons we came together for a studio. Okay. And Yoga on High was that place. And it's been growing ever since. It has. It's a fantastic community. And tell us about Urban Zen, too. Urban, or the Zen, did I say it right? Yes. <laughs> Urban okay. Zen Integrative Therapy. Okay, fantastic. We call it Use It for short. It is a combination of yoga therapy, Reiki, essential oil therapy and some other modalities, we weave it all together and it allows someone to refresh and restore in a very deep way. Yeah, and it's amazing that yoga has, it, the trend has not gone away, but some of the stigma and some of the nervousness and intimidation do, does still stick around a little bit. And so today, uh, you know, most of the things that we get, the inquiries that we get are through social media. So a lot of people might be scared to ask their teacher or might be scared to even just walk into the yoga room. Yeah. So one of the topics that, that she is a master in is Reiki yoga and, and keeping the immune system yes. healthy. So we're actually gonna cover those three. It's like a triple threat here it at this is. Yoga Quickie. the most efficient five minutes of your life. I mean, some, I do massage and people are like, do you do Reiki? And I'm like, I don't. But like, it's, oh, it's no. I know. But we have our things, right? Yes, and right. I think a lot of people that don't understand what Reiki is, we're gonna make it as accessible sure. as we can. Sure. And you're also to, uh, you know covering this topic at the Yoga Journal Conference. Yes. And we have all of that information on Yoga on High, on the Yoga Journal Conference, on Marsha, and all the fabulous teachers here down below. So we're gonna put five minutes on the clock. Okay. And we're gonna cover some Reiki and yoga that will help strengthen our immune system and keep us nice and balanced. And I, want, I do wanna say there's research behind what we're doing because okay. at OSU, which is an amazing research facility, hospital system, uh, there's part of two studies there looking at the immune system for people in general and also for people with breast cancer. And what I'm going to show is part of that amazing study. And guess what? Yoga really works. It really does. It really so this does. would be for the recovery part? For recovery for the breast cancer, yes. Mm -hmm. But okay. also the immune system in general, we tested the immune systems of people that were more experienced with yoga okay. than people that were not. And our amazing. immune systems worked better. Yeah. It's incredible. Yoga heels, guys. All right, we're gonna put five minutes on the clock, right. and then I'll have you go, sister. Okay. All right. So, would you be willing to roll around and stick your legs around. over this yoga chair? Because yeah. I hear you've been traveling for weeks and months. Underneath this, yeah. So you and would just kind of. This is. Oftentimes, people do say, and, and and you're right. They're a little bit embarrassed to say, "Okay, I have five minutes, and weave your feet right through here." Oh, okay, perfect. Yes. I have five minutes. Can you mm -hmm. tell me something to do that would work just for five minutes? Yeah. And this, for my money, is the best value for your time. Yeah. Now, I'm going to try a sandbag, okay. which may feel really grounding for you, especially since you've been traveling. And if you like it, we'll leave it. If you don't like it, I'll take it off. I love it. And for some people, it's claustrophobic. But for most people, they really love it. Now, if you don't have a sandbag, what would you use to just sort of like ground? A pillow or a blanket okay. or uh, anything with a little weight, a couple of blankets. OK. And this is great too, especially if you have a tight low back, you mm -hmm. can keep the low back. Yeah, nice the back is supported. Down. It's great for anxiety. It's mm. great for insomnia. So now in your immune system, is it okay if I touch you? Absolutely. So I'm going to start giving you Reiki right here, right now. Okay. Now what is Reiki for the lay person? 
Reiki is a hands-on or hands-off light touch. So I could be here, mm -hmm. or I can be right on your body. Mm -hmm. but most people find is very, very relaxing. And it can be a form of meditation. It is for me, for sure. It can be a form of healing either self or for others. And there's a way of giving Reiki to yourself. Oh, wow. And uh, even though you don't have Reiki, if you want to just experiment, you can bend your elbows and put your hands on your belly if you like. Okay. And just the weight of your own hands on the belly is very nice. Mm -hmm. And that's a Reiki position. So you can pretend. And it's not really pretending that the energy of your hands is resting on your belly and offering you a sense of love and care. And even just the value of touch, touching touch ourselves, mm -hmm. touch from another person, it really it's does. It's so huge. And then the Reiki is like a bonus mm -hmm. energy coming through. Gravy on the potatoes. So in terms of your immune system here, the lymph system, which drains from your feet up into it around your collarbone area, doesn't have a pump behind it the way your heart does. Mm -hmm. And so when you're upside down, the drainage is happening through gravity. So normally you're standing upright and there's no drainage happening, but now the gutters of your body can drain you back to your collarbone area where everything is renewed and refreshed. Yeah. And isn't it powerful just laying down like in the middle of the day? Yes. Reminds me of your, you know, kindy years when you just take a nap and have well, some vanilla cookies. Absolutely. And, <laughs> and, and research shows, again, a lot of what we're doing in yoga can be confirmed by research these days, which is really cool and was not true when I started doing yoga so much. But now with all the studies, we know that if you take a break in the middle of the day, not only is your work more efficient, but you remember what you did. Yeah. Oh, my you gosh. Remember yeah. any learning. So we really should all take naps in the afternoon in order to keep learning. This is, like a power, this is amazing. And if you had, you know, if you're working at your desk, you're wearing a skirt or something, how would you recommend, would you just say, well, you know, maybe don't use a chair or just lie down instead or what would be another yes, option? Yes, lie down with your knees over a pillow. Okay. Or maybe your knees and your feet over a pillow. Oh, so even good. a little bit of drainage is helpful. Wonderful. And then what's happening here is all your internal organs have space now. Mm. So imagine like leaning over a computer, maybe intensely or leaning forward over your desk. This is now a shape where your internal organs have room to do everything they want to do. That's why people lay down after they've had a big meal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's gives the digestion a chance to do its work. Mm -hmm. And same with your lungs and your heart. Everything gets to spread out a little bit. And your kidneys are in the back body along with your adrenals. They get a chance to settle and spread. Now I'm going to cover your eyes lightly. I'm not touching your eyes, but I'll just cover here. And you can probably feel a sense that there's a little deeper relaxation coming just yeah. because we know that darkness enhances relaxation. It's like a sleep mask without mushing the eyes. Exactly. And if you want to change your hand position, maybe have your hands up on your lower rib cage. Yes, just like that. That's nice. It kind of encourages a bigger yeah. breath, too. Yeah, and, and you don't need to breathe bigger here. Maybe instead think of receiving the breath. Mm. So your body knows how to breathe. You're trusting that mechanism. But you can feel it with your hands, can't you? Mm-hmm. Normally, we wouldn't be talking so much while you're resting. Of course but not. It's fun to this is our it's fun to like feel into what's actually happening here. Yeah. And then the people at home can understand a little bit more. They might not do this necessarily with the video, but you yeah. know, they can do this and five put it on minutes. me later. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we hit five minutes. We did. I'm just gonna reach and I'm gonna spend another hour just doing that so it shuts up. Thanks, timer. I'm just gonna sit and keep doing this. Okay. <laughs> Would you recommend anything? else to add to this little quickie, little bonus? Um, actually, no. Less is, <laughs> less is more with I this I love one. less is more. Less is more. And this is the biggest less to mm -hmm. offer more. I need, I need to close this, but I don't know if yeah. I can get up now. Okay, well, you don't need to. We'll just say goodbye to the we're camera. Gonna say, we're going to say, hey, Thank guys. You your time. Thank you so much for driving us. Stay another hour with Marsha. And then when I leave here, I'm going to take a little Marsha okay. and put her in my pocket. Good, because you're driving later today. We right? all need a little Marsha Miller in our yeah, pocket, am I right? You. Thank you so much for joining <laughs> me, guys. Namaste. All of the information is down below about Yoga on High. I think I'm a little high right now. <laughs>
Uh, the, for Lady Yoga and Yoga Cookies, thank you so much. Namaste. Namaste.